Hello there, and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth, and I am here today with a book haul. This is brought to you courtesy of our local Scholastic Book Fair, so stay tuned and see what my child and my librarian talked me into buying. I'm going to start off with my two middle grade books and then my one children's chapter book and finish off with the awesome picture books that I managed to pick up this week. So the first middle grade book I got was Wand Maker. This is by Ed Massessa or Massassa, something like that. Not sure how to pronounce his name, but I am sure that this is going to be a lot of fun. This book follows Henry Leach the Eighth, and he doesn't know that he is a wand maker. He is descendant from a long line of wand makers, and he has special magic abilities, but he doesn't know any of that until suddenly he inherits these mysterious powers in a trunk full of strange artifacts. But his biggest problem is his little sister, Brianna, and Brianna apparently gets in the middle of his first big spell, and something untoward happens. I'm not sure what that is, but he then has to enlist the aid of Grand Wand Master Coralus and a falcon that is more than it seems in order to try to get her back to where she's supposed to be, what she's supposed to be. And the end of it says, there's a bad moon on the rise and a wicked wand maker on the loose. Henry is about to learn that normal is a thing of the past. Dun, dun, dun. I'm really looking forward to reading this. The cover, of course, caught my eye. And by the way, that's a naked hardback that has that on there. No dust jacket. Just a beautiful hardcover. All right, the next book does has a does has a does have a dust jacket, but I won't hold that against it. This is my other middle grade selection. It is the Not So Boring Letters of Private Nobody by Matthew Landis. And it just looks like this. But that's okay, because the premise of this book is that a 7th grader who is 12 years old named Oliver Pritchard is obsessed with the Civil War. And he's really excited because the last project of his history class in 7th grade is to do a project about the Civil War. But he is given a partner who is known to be a slacker girl who just stares out the window and never does anything. And the name of somebody who didn't even fight in any of the wars. They have to research a private named Private Raymond Stone who didn't fight in any battles and died of some boring disease. But then he has friendships that he strikes up both with the boy he eats lunch with and with this girl he has been partnered with. And along the way, they start finding out mysterious facts both about the past and the present. And so Oliver has to decide if finding out the truth is more important than finishing the project and keeping his new friendships intact. It sounds like it's going to be sweet and kind of, uh, fun's not the right word, maybe interestingly entertaining, maybe? I don't know. I think I'm going to enjoy it. The next book I got is a children's chapter book called Boo La La, School for Ghost Girls by Rebecca Gomez. I believe this is the first in the Boo La La series. Um, it says it appeals to second and third graders and is a third grade reading level, if that is important to you. It sounds like a lot of fun. It says that Boo La La is a school for ghost girls. Best friends Maud, CJ, and Tiny are starting their third grade at Boo Academy, which is known as Boo La La, the world's premier haunting school. The ghost girls love their new dorm mother, Miss Finley, but she has some strange characteristics that make them think that she might be <gasps> human. Could it be? The ghost girls are determined to find out for the sake of their school in the entire ghost world. So this just sounds like a lot of fun. Again, I can't wait to dive into that. And all of these, all of the books that I hauled, actually, um, including my picture books I'm about to show you, will be going in my classroom uh, when I'm finished reading them. So I have kids of all ages from pre-K through 12th grade that are in and out of my room. Uh, and I like to have a good variety for them. 
Although the big kids seem to like the picture books more than the little kids do sometimes. That's a lot of fun. Next, I have a unicorn named Sparkle. This is by Amy Young. And it is all about this little girl, Lucy, who sends off a quarter and her address in order to have a pet unicorn. And this little guy right here is the unicorn she gets. And his name is Sparkle. And she has to learn to love him just for who he is. Next, I have the library book. Now, the library book was written by Tom Chapin and Michael Mark and illustrated by Chuck Greinink. Greinink. And this, this book, guys, is absolutely delightful. It's all about this little girl who decides on a rainy day that she is going to go to the library and pick out a good book to read. And as we go through the book, we see it's dark and rainy. And then the library has all these warm tones. And then she starts reading these books and as she goes through and reads the books more and more characters hop out of the books and play with her in the library and it's just one of my favorite new picture books that I've read so if you're looking for something great to read in a picture book form or just in any form I highly suggest you check out the library book by Tom Chapin and Michael Mark illustrated by Chuck Grimink. All right, next I have a book by Penny Parker Klosterman and illustrated by Ben Mantle that I think is my new favorite thing. And you're going to understand why in just a second, because if you know me, you know how much I love dragons. And this is, yes, that's right. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight and it is just the best thing I just, it's hilarious. I, I don't know. My kids may not love it as much as I do, but I am super excited about it. All right, the last two picture books are actually Elena's, so they probably will not be going in my classroom for at least another couple of years. Um, but when she's done with them, they all go in my classroom eventually. So this one is Unicorn Magic, and this is by Sabina Gibson. It's all about these little felted sewn unicorns and they all like all the pictures show their um, sewing lines and everything. So I'm not sure if they scanned them into the computer and manipulated them or what they did uh, to get the backgrounds and the unicorns like they have them. But it's absolutely, absolutely adorable imagery. And it's all about Periwinkle. And Periwinkle thinks that she doesn't have a power and all of her other friends have powers and, you know, they, they have special things. They paint special paintings and they <sighs> cloud spin and they do all sorts of things. And she wants to know what her special power is. So the whole book is about finding out who you are, which is very important for this age group. And again, I just really like the imagery. And then finally, we have Interrupting Chicken and the Elephant of Surprise, which is the sequel to Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. We don't have the first book, but we have read it, and we just thought this was adorable. And it has a good neck and hardback, too, just so you know. Um, and it is very cute and funny, and we enjoy it immensely. So there are the illustrations for that. And those are all of the books that I got from the Scholastic Book Fair this past week. Please support your local Scholastic Book Fair. Uh, there is a set amount, and if you sell that much or more, then the library at your school gets 55% of the proceeds given back to them. And I think that is very important because that is the way we get a lot of the new books that go into the library at my very small school. So definitely go check it out, or you can make donations to the school for new books. You can go buy new books and donate them to the school. If you have specific books that you think need to be in the library, um, but check with your librarian first to make sure that they don't have them and that they are books that your library would be allowed to carry. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you want to know more about any of these books. Come chat to me in the comments. I'll see you soon. Bye.